What's going on phone dags, Bo HD here, and we're back with another best tech video. If you're new to the series, best tech consists almost entirely of technology that is new to store shelves in each month. It's a series that lets us drool over the incredible tech that our smartphones can control and or connect to. May has been packed full of fresh new technology, so let's not waste any time, let's get started. These are the Kef Egg wireless speakers. What may stand out the most to you is actually the egg shaped design. They're certainly unique and they will take some time to get adjusted to, but the sound quality is absolutely incredible. Let me prefix this with saying that I was set these speakers to primarily perform as PC speakers for my office. But recently I picked up a new TV and the internal speakers were horrible. So I decided to attach these guys to the TV instead. And I have not been able to get myself to detach them since. I cranked these speakers up and watched Ex Machina, which I think is how you pronounce that movie, the horror film where an AI takes over. There's a lot of little sounds and funky beats in that film that I forgot about when I first watched it, but it sounded incredible. The fully self-contained speaker system features a 50 watt digital amplifier and a high quality 24 bit 96 kilohertz DAC or DAC that can play back some seriously high res audio files. What's neat is that these speakers are universal. They can connect to a PC or laptop via a USB connection. They can connect to a TV or game console via the digital optical slash 3.5 millimeter hybrid jack. Uh, they can even connect to any Bluetooth device as they feature Bluetooth 4.1 with aptX codec. Uh, each speaker also features Kef's unique Q driver array where the tweeter is placed right smack down in the middle of the mid bass driver, which creates a very uh, unified sound. You can add a subwoofer to the system if you'd like, but chances are you probably won't need one. My biggest gripe with the system is that the proprietary speaker cable is pretty short. It just barely allows each speaker to sit on either side of my 50 inch TV. Also, they are pretty expensive coming in at about four to $500, but in my honest opinion, they are worth every penny, especially if you value high res audio. Uh, links to check out these speakers will be in the description as well as everything else mentioned in this video. These are the Jaybird Freedom wireless Bluetooth headphones. Jaybird is one of the biggest up and coming audio companies in the world right now. Uh, they actually just got picked up by Logitech because they make great products. These are their latest wireless earphones and they're noteworthy because of how much they've improved from the X2 earphones. These guys have a much slimmer profile that can still provide eight hours of music playback with the included on the go listen while you charge mobile charging clip. They're sweat proof and made of high quality materials like metal. There's passive noise isolation, Bluetooth 4.1 technology, uh, microphone support, playback buttons, and various silicone ear tips and fins to provide for a comfortable fit. Jaybird even includes a carrying case, a charging cable, and a one year warranty. Best of all, you know, they sound great. Crispy mids and a deep bass response, which is surprising given their size. For $200, they're well worth it if you're looking for the best wireless earphones for working out in. AT&T sent me the ZTE Mobly a while back and I've been testing it for quite some time now. It's a device that plugs into your OBD2 port to broadcast a mobile hotspot. It works with most vehicles from 1996 and newer. It just requires an AT&T data plan. From there, you can connect up to five devices while driving around town or across the country. What I like about it is that it's always on, it's always charged, and it's completely wireless. The only downside is that it can sometimes brush against your leg when driving, but that just depends on the type of car you have and where your OBD2 port is located. You may be able to pick up a ZTE Mobly for free if you head over to AT&T, uh, depending on you know, what plan you have and what plan you select. Mission Power's battery base for the Amazon Echo is the first of its kind. It's essentially a battery pack that makes the Echo completely portable and completely wireless. I think one of the biggest issues with the Echo is the fact that you can't easily move it around with you, which is largely why they created the Amazon Tap. But with this battery base, you can move the original Echo around with you from room to room. Uh, say if you're hopping in the shower, you can just bring it with you and play some music. It can support up to six hours of audio playback and is priced at around 50 bucks. This is the Anchor PowerCore Plus 20,100 milliamp USB-C battery pack. It's a mouthful, but it made the best tech list because of its functionality. This battery pack adopts the new USB-C standard alongside two full-sized five volt USB ports all of which feature quick charging technology. There's a little dial up front that lets you know how much power is available and the sheer size and shape of the pack can fit comfortably in a backpack pouch or possibly even a cup holder in your car. The Anchor PowerCore Plus costs about $60. The other Anchor product we have here is the PowerPort Plus 5 USB-C edition. This PowerPort features four standard USB ports with power IQ to allow for simultaneous multi-device charging at 2.4 amps per port 
Best of all, you have a USB-C port which can charge your USB devices like the new MacBook at full speed. This guy is on sale for about, or a little more than $50 on Amazon. The last device I want to leave you with is the new 2016 Roku streaming stick. What's new is that it features a faster quad-core processor to power up the UI. It features dual-band wireless connectivity, it can stream full 1080p HD content, and it even features a mobile app that can offer voice support, which is one of the best features of the premium Roku 4 in my opinion. Now, I'm relatively new to the Roku ecosystem, but I absolutely do love the simplistic layout and the fact that they included a physical remote here. What's also cool is the fact that this thing only costs about $40 right now. And since you're so awesome for sticking around to the end of the video, we've decided to give away one of these streaming sticks. We're going to make this really simple. You just leave a comment below and make sure you are subscribed and we'll pick a random winner in about two weeks or so. Cut us some slack. It'll happen. I promise you. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this best tech video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Let us know which device is your favorite. There's a lot of good ones in this episode. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya. There's a plane going right over my head. I apologize for the background noise. Zzz.